What's up guys, Aiden here, Ace Lawn Landscape, and welcome back to another video. Today in this video, I got this mulch bed here. It's not even a mulch bed anymore. It doesn't even have any mulch in it. But we're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, cut an edge on it, and um, go ahead and plant some hostas, put some other plants, get some other stuff in there, so that when we go ahead and mulch it next week, or uh, not next week, a few weeks from now, we can get it looking really sharp. But I wanted to give a quick lawn update. Looking pretty good down in there. I got all these flowers around this tree, more in there, all this back here. Some of this stuff, just like these flowers and stuff, like that's pretty much dead. Some of this needs to be split. So I gotta go ahead and take care of splitting and stuff so that we can get some more going on over there. So I will pick up some footage for you there. Now we're ready to get to work. Got all the tools. All right, guys, it's pretty much a disaster out here. I just got one in and started cutting the mulch bed, but it's starting to, to rain. So I'm gonna uh, try to get a few more things in and I'm gonna call it a day. So I did not get as far as I could probably wanted to get, but uh, we'll see how far I get from now. I'm gonna go get some dianthus and throw them in here. Alright guys, so I have a dying azalea right here and uh, I want to see if it comes out just as easy as I expect because of over water. Ready? This is my first time grabbing it. Holy crap. Look at all that water down in that hole. This thing is saturated. Saturated, okay? No wonder why those bushes have no room to live. So I'm going to go ahead and just fill that hole back in. I might move some dianthus around in there. I'm not sure yet, so we'll see how that goes. All right, guys, let's just say this project got a little bit more on the muddy side than I expected. I just had to use the backpack blower and the hose to do my entire driveway to get everything off the driveway. But I'll give you a quick update. It's really hard to work when you have a plant and you have rocks that size getting in your way. You know, it makes really, really difficult to do stuff like that. So um, I just wanted to catch you up. This is where I got. I threw some mulch that I had in there. The plants are looking a little droopy, but they need to get used to their new environment and perk up. But um, let's resume this project on a nicer day. I'll see you guys there. What's going on guys? All right, I'm back, I'm ready to go. It is a beautiful day. And uh, let's take a look, evaluate that beautiful lawn. Probably gonna cut it today, although the temperatures are rising, so I'm trying to give it, irrigate it and uh, keep the mowing down so that I don't have to mow it all the time and dry it out. But I kind of forgot to film on a lot of the uh, parts for this mulch bed. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we have done to it and what we are currently going to do. I figured I'd pick the camera up. I actually remember to, because I forgot to with doing all this other work. So let me go ahead and show you what I have so far in this mulch bed. And it's looking really good and it is getting mulched. Today's Tuesday or Monday, Sunday the 26th so let me show you what we got so far and I will we can yeah take a look all right so we got this bush here got one of these going in the hole there and then we got two of these juniper blue stars I'm gonna be planting them right here 
got the dianthus hosta and then we got some uh some flowers that we planted uh portulaca and um we planted them right down in here pretty close just to kind of fill that area in here we got our um two more dianthus another hosta and then i forget what that ground cover is called but it flowers white flowers in the spring and then i went ahead and did this uh edging touch here with the rock on this side also did the same thing down on this side then i cut the bed edges for all that right along here and uh yeah this is how everything looks so i will um pick up some b-roll for you guys and show you what it looks like so i hope you guys enjoy <laughs> And some of you guys may ask what this is here. It is a really big plastic rock, although some of you might think it's a real rock. And it actually covers a uh, pretty big eyesore. I'll walk you over to my neighbors over here. It's called a grinder pump. It looks like this, except ours sat up a little bit higher than that. So uh, I think just covering that up, putting in some black mulch along with all the plants will really give it a, a different look than having a big green plastic thing in a black mulch bed. So uh, I'll post a picture up on the screen um, what it looks like once it's finished. But you guys will probably see this video before mulch. So yeah, I, I'm not sure yet. All right, let's rock and roll. Alright guys, we got the bushes put in, they look real sharp in here, got the triangle coming like this with the bushes, everything looks really really good, I can give you one more walk through with the, the rock, big rock, and then all the plants I put on this side, and then even more rock. Okay, so that's all I have for this one, but I wanted to add one more thing. I'm going to show you how to introduce RGS into your plant and landscape. So I'm going to take one gallon gardening watering container and mix three ounces of RGS in there, and then we're going to hit all the plants in this bed. It'll probably be two or three gallons, and that's what I'm going to show you guys how to do right here, right now. All right, guys, I got my container here that has one gallon of water mixed in. And I got our RGS here. I don't have measuring cups, but I don't know if you can see that. I did mark out three ounces on there. So I'm gonna go ahead, fill that up real quick, add it to the water, and then I'll catch up with you guys in the watering. All right, guys, I'm just watering in. Good amount for the bigger bushes, a smaller amount for the little bushes. Got about one gallon here that I'll probably use amongst the three bushes. So I'm just going ahead and giving it a nice drink so that everything gets evenly wet. And I'll move down to the second one and do the same there. 
All right, guys, and that right there is how you use RGS and your plant, plant and landscape. Um, I already did all the rest of the shrubs yesterday and they are looking great. Um, not that this would help them, but uh, like grow, top growth, but it is gonna help stimulate the roots. Um, that's all I have for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the makeover on this bed. It looks so much better. I wish I could have a picture of um, it all mulched, but I'd really like to get this video up. So I will give you an update of it all mulched in another video. But with that, I'm Aiden from A's Lawn Landscaping. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.